What's up you guys? We got the 2013 Toyota Prius. We're doing the struts, lower control arms, and our sway bar links. And we're gonna go ahead and start off with removing this. So we have a bolt here, a bolt here, and a bolt here. We removed all of those. And that pulls off our windshield wipers. After we do that, all this stuff kind of here will be kind of pinned down. So we're gonna go through and pop pins and get all of this loose so we can pull this off. And then underneath here, there's a panel that's gonna need to come off and it's gonna have bolts on it. So we're gonna go ahead and get this started and then work our way to that. So with that off, this electrical harness that comes off, and then as that comes off, we're gonna go ahead and take off this whole panel right here. So it's gonna be held on these bolts. They're there. We got the bolts in the back. <clears throat> A bolt back there. Bolt right here, bolts there, bolts there, bolt up top right there. And you're just going to take off any bolt that holds this thing down to the frame of the car. You're going to keep these ones on. Any one that controls the mechanisms are all going to stay on, but we're going to remove any of the other ones that hold on to brackets and everything that keep it down. So let's go ahead and get these removed. So I went ahead and took all the bolts out. And it pulls right out. It's not really hard at all. You once you get all the bolts out and everything, um, we're gonna go ahead. These are the bolts for our upper strut mounts. Right here. So <clears throat> now that this is done, this is our first part. We're gonna go ahead and start taking apart the struts. And then after we do the struts, we're gonna do our control arms next so let's go ahead and get started all right so we have the wheel down here to get our strut off which we're going to do first we're going to take off this nut this nut this bracket comes off here this comes unclicked right here you can take this off as well unbolts right here and then that sets it all free from the lower half. And then as I showed you in the video before, we're gonna go up here and hit those three bolts as well. So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna take off these nuts down here. We're gonna remove our ABS wire and our brake line brackets. And then we're gonna knock these guys loose. And as well as this guy, I forgot to mention this guy. And that we're gonna be replacing this anyway so usually if I wanted to keep this you're gonna use an allen wrench hold it still as you take it off because the more you twist it the more it goes around and everything it starts to wear out and ruin the uh, joints on it so we're gonna go ahead and replace it so we're just gonna use a gun to get it off so let's get these bolts off let's get going All right, so we're just gonna take these off here. Oh, come on. All right. 
Now these two are off. We're gonna throw these bolts off to the side not to lose them. And then this just hangs on. Nothing crazy. Now this guy, we're just gonna screwdriver to snap them open. that. Now this gives us the space to work in. Now we're going to go ahead and get these two bolts right here loose with that. So let's get that done. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and re Now, these struts, they just slide right up. You're going to want to get one of your new nuts ready for it to be put down. <coughs> and it's just going to slide right up, so let's go ahead and get ready. Alright, so... We have our bolts in hand and ready to go. Now, I'm gonna wanna make sure you slide this up and into position the way it needs to go. It's just straight up like this. Slide it up into the hole. If you have an extra body, it does help. But possible to do by yourself. It takes a little bit of strength. And we're gonna need that so get one bolt started. Alright. Now it can dangle. We can turn it by hand. So we can get this placed. Now 
let's just go ahead and get one of the bolts placed in. Boom. One bolt in. Got a second one in here. It's a little frustrating. Now, that in, just make sure up top we're a little bit more settled. And there's a bracket that fell, it's right here. Now this bracket, it's gonna go like this. Exactly like that. And then we're gonna put our two bolts in up here. And then we're gonna put our nuts on this guy. <laughs> Sorry. And then we'll get on to our sway bar links. Now we got our new sway bar links. I'm gonna go ahead and Remove the bolts off the front of these. Now the sway bars will go one facing on the bottom will face that way and the one right here will face towards you. Now we're gonna go ahead and down here put the bolt on this one get this one started. Now with that one on a good way to get this up is use a, j a floor jack and jack underneath here. You can use a block of wood underneath it or you can just place it on the control arm itself. And we're gonna do it on the control arm because we're replacing it anyway, so I don't care if we damage it. So we're gonna go ahead and put the jack underneath here. You're gonna jack it up high enough to where this can just slide right in there. And then we'll remember that the Allen key here, we're gonna hold it down with an Allen wrench and tighten the bolt, making sure that this is not spinning so we're not ruining our joints. So let's go ahead and get this jack placed underneath and get this placed. So with this placed up, we got the jack underneath, jacked up high enough to where this can go. Using Crescent wrench because I can't find my right size one for this right now. And as you can see, we're able to tighten this down without the center spinning on us. The second we get this tight enough, you'll see that there it starts to spin. So now that it's like that, we're going to grab our Allen wrench, we're going to hold this down into place as we tighten this down <coughs> you're gonna get it I'm sorry you're gonna get it really tight on there if you want to look up specs online for foot pounds you're more than welcome to I do everything as hand tight as I can get it and I'm also I, I like to use thread lock on things if I can so Thread lock I used on these. I will use thread lock on stuff like this. And just to make sure, sometimes I'll put some thread lock on the front of this just to lock, lock the front down just a bit. But we're going to go ahead and do this bottom part and then use our Allen key to tighten this down. And then we're going to do our lower control arms. Now, we got this bolt right down here. I've got everything all knocked loose. So as you can see, this comes out. Next one. This bolt here. It's already loose. As you can see, you always want to try to get it from the nut side if you can. This one I don't think I'll be able to. 
And then over here, his bolt right here. So it's gonna take those out. And then, well, you should use a crowbar to pry this thing out. Now to get this bolt out, right here, as you can see, use a block of wood and a jack. Jack it up slowly, only enough to get the bolt slid out. You don't want to go too crazy because you don't want to damage your motor mounts. But you do that, it makes it easier to grab the bolt with a wrench. And also you're able to slide the bolt all the way out so you can take this out. So with that, let's go ahead and crowbar this thing out. So next, we got this lower ball joint down here. Easiest way to get this off. Use a ball joint remover, something like this. Now, excuse me while I get just in this video. You always want to keep a nut on top of there because this thing will fly off. But I've got it connected. Everything. Figure out the best location for this. So with that in place, all we're gonna do is crank that, and once we crank this, this should pop out. Again, be careful. This thing will kind of fly out at you. So you always wanna keep an end, a bolt and the end of it if it's not connected. Since ours is, we're gonna go ahead and just crank it loose. All right, so this piece right here had to come off. It makes it a lot fucking easier. So, a little bit of oil is gonna fall out of this thing. It's okay, just ignore that. We're gonna go ahead and finish taking the control arm out, which is, I like to just take a crowbar underneath and from up top and just kind of pry this thing out. It will come out. It's easy to do with two hands, so I'm probably gonna shut the camera off to do this. But let's go ahead and get this done. All right, we're gonna take the bolts off of here, the nuts off of here, and then when we put the new lower ball joint on the new control arm, we're gonna reuse these. So, go ahead and get that replaced. It's pretty straightforward. We're not going to explain how to do that because it literally just goes on the same way it's here. To reference this piece, how it is set up, look at it. Make sure you know exactly what position it's supposed to be in. This has a right there, how it goes up. That's how you want it. So, let's go ahead and get these bolts off get this new arm put in. So, I find it sometimes easier to be able to get this side swung all the way over like this. Get it all the way up in there. Get your bolt through there and at least start in. And then you can bring this down like this and swing it around. All right, we got this arm swung around. As you can see, it's still attached right here. I got it swung around to where I pivoted it up inside the, right there. And I'm gonna grab my bolt now and I'm going to get that placed. Sorry about the finger. Placed and started right there. And once we get that in, that's our control arms set up. And then we can begin to tighten everything down. All right, so with this on, we've got it attached down here. We're gonna go ahead and attach our lower ball joint and put that back on. And that's how you do control arm, strut, sway bar links. If you guys have any questions, comment below. I'll try to answer when, I, when and where I can. Thanks, guys. Like and subscribe.